Thank you for being part of our broadcast. I know this Fear of Grace has been a tremendous blessing to you. I love to hear from you. Send in your questions, your prayer requests, and testimonies to the address on the screen. I would love to respond to them personally. God bless you. We are I'm Pastor Shegun Baji. Glory to God. It's a beautiful day. The hand of the Lord is strong upon you. We've been considering the subject of healing, healing, the healing power of God. And today, I'm bringing you a word that Christians, God's children, need never be sick. We need not be sick in any way. Praise God. Why? Because Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, paid the full price for our healing. And it's God's will for us to be healed. Praise God. Amen. Now, in the world today, disease and sickness are claiming a terrible toll of human lives. You see people dying of sicknesses and diseases. Why? Because they are ignorant of the provision that God has made for them. In spite of the greatest achievements of medical science, all right, people are still dying. Thank God for medical science. You know, it's been able to help um, a few. But listen very carefully, there are people today who are dying of sicknesses and diseases that medical science has no answer to. And listen, the answer is in Christ. Glory to God. Maybe it's HIV or AIDS, it makes no difference. All right, or a terminal disease. Listen very carefully. God is terminating that terminal disease today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because the provision has been made in Christ. So Christians need never be sick any more than they need to be sinful. It is always God's desire to heal you. Listen, it's God's desire to make you whole. It's God's desire to make you whole. Amen. Now let me give you this example. Three million Israelites believed that God was their healer and they walked in health such that there was no feeble one amongst them. Three million, no feeble one amongst them. The Bible tells us in Psalm 105 and verse 37, he brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was no feeble person among their tribes. No feeble person amongst their tribes. Praise the Lord. So it tells us that God can make us whole at once. Everybody in the body of Christ, every child of God can be whole. Every child of God every child of God because the access we have to this covenant the new covenant and the provision that Jesus Christ has made ready for us is common is equal it cuts across board God is no respecter of persons now it is his will to make you whole now it is his will to heal you now all right so Christians need never be sick praise God this is the will of God for you now, the only reason disease takes such a large toll among Christians today is that many do not believe what God has spoken concerning their healing and their health. See, faith is very important. Don't forget the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to those who believe. So when you repose faith and confidence in God's word, you receive that word as yours and act upon it, all right? Then you see the power of God is released unto you to make the word of God good in your case. Praise the Lord. That's how it works. Amen? And so this is God's report. Don't forget it. This is the report of God unto you. Jesus Christ bore your sicknesses and diseases on himself. He took your place as your substitute and he died in your stead. The punishment, the chastisement required to minister peace unto you was upon him and with his stripes you are healed. You are healed. That's God's report. Amen. Jesus took your place and say, you said thank you. I believe that Lord right now. And the witness of the spirit is walking in your body. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I see healing, miracles. I see a whole family being healed right now. In the name of Jesus, daddy, mom, and children, and you know whomsoever is living with you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
For seven solid years, I battled with schizophrenia and depression. I came to church and when I was called to the front for healing, I obeyed. I stepped out in faith and as Pastor Shagmo Badger laid his hands on me, it seemed like a current went through me and I felt a burden lifted. I felt better afterwards and I had a complete turnaround as far as my health was concerned. I am grateful to the God of GLT for the healing. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.